1946. Notebook Computer Gaming. Recently, in the comments section, one of my YouTube buddies let me know he had trouble running the game on his notebook computer. So I thought I'd take a look at it and see what I could do to get the game to run. And to clarify things, this was a notebook computer with a integrated video card. And I just happened to have an Acer Aspire 2017 year uh, E15 with a Core i7 and uh, it wouldn't run the game. So I had to do some tweaks and uh, add video memory and uh, I did it through the reg edit. I'll show you how to do it or where you can look to see how to do it on a YouTube video address in the description. And with the reg edit tweak, I uh, doubled the video memory from 256 to 512. And it was a real easy process to do. Before flying a mission, I went into the game's video option setup. I turned clouds off. You'll still have background clouds. Landscape detail excellent. And objects are excellent. Uh, everything else I turned down to medium. And we're still going to have some good looks and good effects. Sorry guys, another disclaimer. Um, the game was playable without these tweaks. Just had a very low frame rate and a lot of stuttering. So here we are in game recording uh, using Windows Game Bar. A pleasant surprise. I'll get into that later. Uh, our screen resolution is 1366 by 768. And while recording, uh, there's no issues and pretty nice visual effects and really smooth gameplay. So we're in on a ground target, uh, rail target, rail bridge, bombs out, and clearing out. Pretty smooth. No issues at all. Looking good. So let's take a look at that bomb drop from the gratification cam. Exterior view, again, no stutters, real smooth frame rate. Um, I know it's above 30. Sorry, guys, I didn't have a frame rate counter, but I do believe we never drop below 30 at any time during this mission. So we got a good bomb drop. Uh, we're right on target. We got a mission victory. And we're still looking good from the exterior. Frame rates are still stable. All right, we're going to go air to air. Um, I don't have track IR, um, but I'm going to use the F4 key or padlock key. And we're at a disadvantage uh, up against an FW190. It's coming in quick with altitude advantage. And we're going to roll out, turn back into them. And we've got a passing shot that we just missed. Again, frame rates were good. Uh, really nice. Again, while recording, a nice rollout. Crossing shot that we just missed. So we're going to follow up the pursuit. And we hit the enemy aircraft. Uh, damage looked good, uh, very detailed. We know we hit the target, and we're going to follow up for an air-to-air -air victory. Well, guys, I hope you like this uh, flight, and let's look at the game bar a little bit closer. I'm going to use it more often. It, it records right to your PC on a capture folder, and you can put the capture folder anywhere you want. I put it on an SSD drive. Um, that probably helped with uh, not losing frame rate. So anyway, guys, Game Bar, uh, Windows G, uh, records uh, without any frame rate loss. And overall, I found the game very playable on a notebook computer. So guys, uh, if that's all you have to work with, um, 
give it a try again. This was uh, IL-2 1946 version BAT 4.13, the latest, with reshade uh, 4.9, and the game ran smooth. Well, guys, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you up again soon.